I just wanted to comment briefly about holding up the UN Charter in court as a treaty that ought to be abided by, which takes a lot of, of courage and moral principle, uh, and yet uh, with the recognition of its imperfections. Wouldn't it be nice if there were a treaty on the books that banned war entirely, without the, the loopholes for defensive wars and UN authorized wars and so forth? And there is. And it's on the State Department's website, and it was ratified by the U.S. Senate in 1928 by a vote of 85 to 1, and the one schmuck who voted the wrong way was censured by his state legislature, and nobody knows about it, right? And so if you're going to hold up a document and say, of all the laws we're not enforcing, why don't we enforce this one? Why not hold up the one that gets it absolutely perfect? to which Persia was a party and now Iran, to which the nations of the world are by and large party, uh, but not abiding by it. Uh, and this, of course, is the Kellogg-Briand Pact of 1928, which banned war. Uh, and when they want to legalize bribery, they hold up marginalia, I mean, scribbles in the, in the minutes of Supreme Court hearings and say, hey, this is sort of like a law. When they want to legalize torture, they hold up Federalist papers and say, well, this guy who wrote this later made some laws. You know, we have actual laws that under Article 6 of the Constitution are the supreme law of this land that say exactly what we would dream of, except we don't dare dream that big, right? And, and so I, I think, and this is why I wrote this book called Win the World Outlawed War, uh, because getting inside the heads of our grandparents who did this, and it was the biggest news story in 1928, this is not secret CIA history, uh, it, it takes us beyond this idea of banning aggressive war. These are people who said we didn't ban aggressive dueling and keep defensive dueling, we did away with a barbaric practice. We are going to do away with war. This is the next step, and it's going to take generations. Well, here we are, the next generation, to carry it forward, and we don't even know it got started. So, you know, hold that one up. Say, enforce the Kellogg-Briand Pact. 